get it. All right, welcome to Nepal. I went to all Porky Pig at the uh, end of that <laughs> intro there. I don't know what happened there. That was weird. <laughs> Mighty Storm versus Lunatic High. And uh, no doubt Lunatic High coming into this one with the edge. Tejun already on the 76. I mean, yeah, they could always change it, but uh, Soldier 76 got some pretty nice buffs in the patch. The damage going up on his regular attack from uh, 17 up to 20 per bullet. Yep. And uh, that means it's up to uh, 15 on armored targets, which is uh, a pretty big increase. And if you can handle the spread, which also did get increased, you can do quite well. And yeah, we'll be Soldier 76s on both sides. Wow, okay. And nice. also, new Fara coming out, of course, with the no more knockback. I, that is problematic, actually, for Fara because it does mean you can't bounce a long range hit scan like Soldier of a three around. I mean, that's true, but it's also easier to line up your next rocket as well. You don't have to kind of worry about where they're going to randomly bounce to. So. It's, it's kind of a trade-off. I, I kind of like it personally. The jump jet's increased. Uh, mobility is really nice, too. And, of course, uh, we've got Mercy as well, who uh, now starts to self-heal after one second. So a little bit easier to stay healthy as we see Lunatic High take the point first here. Eska running out with that May. Got the May wall. He's going to just take a chill in the ice block. But Fellow grabbing some kills on the outside. Doesn't look oh. like it. Ooh, maybe it will be enough. Jack with the right click there. Yeah, Fellow actually got quite a bit, but he's going to be taken down by Dean, who's out on the, or Toby rather, who's on oh. the run. That was really tricky, man. Toby tried to go above him on the wall. I like that little move, but it wasn't enough. Not enough health remaining. And I really wonder if we're going to see a lot of Dean here because she got some really nice buffs too. Maybe not at this point, but in the future. And Eska actually swapping off of the May immediately upon seeing the Fara. So they're going for the double hit scan, trying to pick that Fara out of the sky. Yeah, you're going to need to. Yeah, Blizzard not going to be doing a lot against the long range and the hovering of the Fara. So there we go. All right, well, there's a Graviton Surge used by Fellow. He's going to come in. There's a Barrage. And he just annihilates Lunatic High, looking for another kill, and that is a clean team wipe for Mighty Storm. Wow, coming out strong here in uh, point A on the ball. Let's watch that again. That's yeah, brutal. I mean, the combination Whoa. right there, just slamming absolutely everything <laughs> yep. into the tiny room. Red, the high ground approach there from Lunatic High, but it's a big commitment, and Lunatic High going to come in with a nice old advantage. They've got... The uh, nano boost now, they can use it on the Tejun, and that, there it is. That's what they're going to do, yep. Attack Visor comes in, Tejun looking for targets though, and you do so much damage now with this Attack Visor. Man, and that's exactly what we expected to see. Three kills for Jack, or for uh, Tejun rather, with the Soldier 76 as we switch from 76 to 76. Thanks, <laughs> yeah, Thanks a lot. <laughs> Well, that was a huge play. Even through the Mercy res, they managed to pick off the necessary kills. Eska onto the Tracer now, a hero that he's not really known for playing. So interesting to see the swap up right there. But one of the things about Nano Boost is now that it doesn't give the speed buff, uh, Soldier is actually one of the best heroes to give it to because he can sprint himself into position yeah, and totally. not so reliant. But big All plays. Right. Well, Graviton Surge used by Lunatic High this time, and that will be a big play. They get a lot of kills there. Let's go with the kill on to Chloe to finish things off. Chloe or Chloe? Chloe. Chloe? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> no. Why not? It's just a regular woman's name. Yep. So, uh, we see that from pro gamers. There's a pro gamer named Alicia in StarCraft 2. There's one named Liz. That's we were right. casting yesterday. That's right. You never know. Sometimes you just uh, pick a girl's name. So, Mighty Storm looking to come back and try to retake the point. Bella looking for kills on a J-Home there. He gets a Zarya shield. Sound Barrier used by Mighty Storm, perhaps a bit preemptively. Room Room, though, gets a kill on J-Home. Oh, and there goes Aska. Bello doing some decent work before he's finally taken out. But here comes Chloe on the Winston. Pop that Primal Rage, and he's going to outgo after the Zarya. See what he gets. J-Home gets a kill on the a room room rather gets a kill into Dean. Yeah, two monkeys, primal rage to get the same room, and that's One gonna be a Chloe victory in the end as he yeah. clears out Miro eventually. Mighty Storm flips the point backwards and Luka wow. having to come back. Monkey Rez is ready, ready for Mighty Storm, so they should be feeling pretty good about their current status. Not a lot of ultimates going to be available here. Jay Hong trying to get Taejun back up there with another tack visor with the nano boost, but they're going to have to wait and if Mercy can get a res, if she's not picked off first, could be a nice hold here from Mighty Storm. Yeah, we will see Yoshi coming in now on that Zarya, trying to force Eska out on the Tracer. Goes in meanwhile, j in the back lines. He's kind of on his own here. That's a bit awkward. Mighty Storm content, though, to just sit on the point. Meanwhile, Jack gets one. Fellow goes down after popping the barrage. Doesn't find any kills with it. That will be 
Point eight going over to Mighty Storm. So a little bit of a surprise here in our first match. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. They tried to get that Mercy down right at the very beginning. Late hit on the tack by Zerb, but they handled Taejun on that Soldier. And Chloe did a really good job on the Winston that game, zoning people out and getting them in those tight little corridors in the Primal Rage, yeah. winning the Winston duels with Miro. And it's going to be a point lost there for Lunatic High. A bit surprisingly, not what we expected, but like a pretty good map play there from the side of Mighty Storm. Yeah, honestly, uh, I think they came out with a really good comp for this uh, new patch. And it worked out well for them. We'll see if Lunatic High can adapt. They didn't have a whole lot of different stuff, just that Soldier 76 kind of thrown in there. All right, Eska going to be playing the Soldier this time. And he's typically yeah. the uh, the long range hit scan player on the McCree. Tejun going back to the Roadhog, his preferred hero so far in Apex. This is a, a better point for the Roadhog as well on the ball. So no surprise to see him swap over with that one. Fight a grenade comes in. Jack just looking for a little bit more damage. But Dean, the first one to get the kill onto Chloe. Lunatic High winning those early fights, and they're going to move on to the point. Whoa, got to be careful there. And SIP. I don't know what SIP was man. doing yeah. there. He was way far forward. And he got, gets picked off before he could fall back to the safety of his spawn. So a pretty easy take right there. Miro goes down on the Reinhardt, but it was a two for one trade in favor of Lunatic High. And they're going to be. Holding a defensive position across from the point with the Reinhardt, the Roadhog, and the Soldier. One of the things with that nice soldier. shot. We got Eska Yoshi actually long range right click. Right click there takes out Tajin as well. Wow, and pops that graviton surge. Looks like they might get a bit more. There goes Jeho. Miro low on the outside, and Jack is tearing these guys apart. They're gonna retake the point. Yeah, Jack didn't even have to use Tac Visor to clean that up, so he's yeah. still gonna have an ultimate available right now. And they don't have a, any kind of Zarya on the side of Lunatic High. Or they do, Dean rather, but no ultimate yet. Yoshi built up his Graviton Surge extremely quickly. So one of the good things that we haven't talked about with 76 in this uh, new patch is that he's really good at busting through Reinhardt shields now. He always yeah. kind of was, but now with the damage increase, throwing a right click there, and that shield is not going to last very long. Absolutely, Eska. There we go. He's going to use that okay. nano boost on attack visor. Not a lot of good targets, though. He's trying to zone out the enemy soldier. Ooh, doesn't find a whole lot. This is big ultimate use. They only get one kill on the room room for it, and they're going to counter nano boost attack visor. Yeah, well, he doesn't have the attack visor. Well, it ran out anyway. It's not very used by Lunatic High. Somebody got knocked off there. Tejun, I believe, was the victim. Jack coming back. Looks like Lunatic High, though, will be able to reclaim the point. Going back now, so it's been really a back and forth match so far. Dean finally uh, building up to that uh, Zarya ultimate. And they are going to have a good way to clog up this choke point, but not really any follow up. I feel like we're really seeing a big difference in the uh, ult cooldowns now. I mean, a lot less ultimates being used in these games overall. You look up, and usually only one or two people have them at, the at a time. Yeah, absolutely. I like it. Like a lot. Fellow coming in now on that Reaper decided to swap over. He's got the Death Blossom if he wants to use it. Sound Barrier is going to power him up a little bit more. Graviton Surge used by Mighty nice Storm. Hook. Trying to take the point back, but yeah. Good hook from Tejun. That's going to pull somebody right off the point. Dean, meanwhile, going in with the Zarya. Turning away at that shield. An extended engagement, and Dean actually turning around and picking up a couple big kills there on Not the bad. Zarya with the help of Toby. Yeah, Mighty Storm just looked kind of disjointed there. They didn't really look like they had a plan of attack, and they just sort of sat there and let themselves be picked off one by one. Yeah, Lunatic High, too, building up a nice ult bank to work with once again. Mighty Storm, sure, they've got the Death Blossom, but they're going to have to combo that with the crowd control from the Earth Shatter. Otherwise, that Reaper will be highly vulnerable to getting picked off yeah. during the ultimate. But this is the last push, really. Mighty Earth Storm shattered. has to get something done. Well, Jack goes ahead and uses his ultimate to try to uh, force back Hero there. Eska, though, take it down. He could be in trouble. Fellow gets a kill on the Dean, but Mighty Storm is on the point right now. Yeah, and they couldn't actually kill it. Eska, though, because of the wow. nano boost. And Tejun going to rip through with the whole hog, try and finish off the last few players. Rung Rung running for his life, but everybody piling in, and that's going to be it. Overtime ends, and Lunatic High will take the win. Wow, that play right there from Eska combined with Teju. He was so close to dying during the Earth Shatter and the Death Blossom, but managed to get back up, had the damage resist or reduction rather from the nano boost, and then healed right back up by the Ana to continue dealing damage and handling Felho on that Reaper. Yeah. Well.
been an interesting first couple rounds here on Nepal. And we're going to the third one. We're going to go to Shrine. And we'll see who takes this map. It is a best of three. But Mighty Storm making a pretty good showing of it so far, honestly. But we're at a point right now where everybody's adjusting to the new patch. So results today probably going to be a bit crazy. Looks like Mighty Storm back to the pharmacy. Going for that one more time. And with Felho's performance on that far uh, in the first point, they're going to use some of that. There he Whoa. <laughs> he is ripped. And Taejun this time on the Tracer. Bit of a change of pace for him. Mighty Storm trying to fight back here. Eska goes down to Jack. Jack actually getting that kill. It's a very big one to pick up. Eska with another one, though. Yeah, and that's Teju just trying to clean up the back line here. They're pushing forward very far into the enemy spawn point. So a couple kills there. Yoshi again, who's really been keeping his team in this match, and he's been charging that ultimate so quickly. Frequently had two to one percentages compared to Dean. And that's made a big difference, was the reason why they capped that point in the first or the second map uh, there in Sanctum. And he stays alive for a while here. Look at the L percentages for both teams right now. Lunatic High in a lot better position right now than Mighty Storm. Yeah, Fellow went right down awfully early. Jack will switch over to the Tracer. Yeah. Try and deal or harass this soldier to open up some room for Saw the Farah Rockets. He needs to drop that healing. He's getting a little bit low here. Jack trying to make a difference. Eska backing away. Soldier pretty vulnerable to dive, but oh! Tracer vulnerable to that right click, man. The rocket's doing work. Fellow, though, trying to do work with his own rockets, but he won't last too long. And that was so close to Eska going down right there. Yeah. Jack had distracted him, and that opened up the space for Felho to get the kill onto Jay Hong. But had that little backline duel gone slightly differently, uh, Felho would have had free range to be firing into the Lunatic High composition. With the Tracer going down to that Helix Rocket, couldn't buy the time. Yep. Here we go, Yoshi coming in, he's got the Graviton Surge to use. Nice Surge Shatter from Hero, he will be taken out. Pulse Bomb comes in though, we'll see if Lutik High can defend. Teju backing away now on that Tracer, has to be kind of careful, Use the recall, tried to go after the Mercy. Does the Rez come in? Doesn't look like it does quite yet. SIP holding on to that one, Mighty Storm will take the point, they've got five alts to work with. Yeah, they do. And Got the sight lines now to help with the far rockets raining in through those choke points. That's going to try and sneak around and see what he can find. But lots of ults here for both teams. Very few ultimates used so far in this map. It hasn't been that scrappy trading that we saw in the first couple. And that's right. going to be a nano boost attack visor. There we go, man. Ult on to Eska getting super low though, has to be careful. Got that extra durability from the nano boost. That's enough to kill Chloe, but that's all he's going to get out of it. Meanwhile, I believe the res just came right back up. Yeah, SIP uses it. Jack trying to fight for his team's survival here. Remember, whoever takes this point takes the map. Fellow going for the knockoff. Doesn't work out. He's going to have to back away, though. Taejun chasing him down on that tracer. He's got the barrage, but he's definitely not going to want to use it here. He'll have to use it sometime soon, though, as Lunatic High does have the point back again. It's all right. They can still push forward and try for the Graviton barrage combo. Yoshi's been doing great. So far on this Zarya, Lutikai should know to stay spread out here. They haven't seen that ultimate from Zarya in a while. Yoshi looking for it, trying to get in there. There's a Graviton Surge, doesn't pull too much in. Goes down to Taejun. Lutikai looking okay, but no, I spoke too soon. Fellow with two kills, but Eska's still up. Yeah, Eska's Looks still like they might up, be able to uh, take it. And they're going to try and push this forward. Jay Hong trying to knock him out of the air. Nice rocket right around the corner, and Felho just going off on the far. He is going to flip the point here in overtime. Flip himself, too, as he dies. Lunatic High not done quite yet, but it looks like Mighty Storm will finally be able to grab it. Going to stay back and reset now, Lunatic High. They are going to stick with their current composition, confident. They're going to be able to do work with Attack Visor. And once it comes back up, Chloe sitting on the Primal Rage. He'll be able to th pretty thoroughly control that point. This looks like it may be going down into a 99-99 territory, though. It certainly could, especially with SIP still holding on to that res on uh, Mercy. Eska has his ultimate ready to go. Visor is prepared, man. Primal Rage used a little bit early by Chloe. Once that is over, yeah, he's going to go ahead and use it. Goes after oh, SIP, gets, gets the kill on the Mercy, and that is huge. They don't have the res. Lutakai needs to push now. There's the nano boost onto the Soldier 76 as he dives at the point going after Fellow. Jayon gets the kill, and that may be it. Overtime coming in, and Lunatic High will take Nepal. Crucial kill onto that Mercy. 
And you'll notice as we were watching Eska there, he was just holding out. His team was waiting for that primal rage to end so that he couldn't be knocked away while he used it. He got knocked back once, but he got the mercy, found the target in the air so that their res would not be activated, and then cleaned up the fight from there. Great patience from Lunatic.